What's going on guys? Gamer King Tario here and uh, July is such a terrible month for video game releases traditionally and this is no exception. I don't think for the PlayStation Vita there's a single game coming out in the month of July and for the 3DS I think there's excuse me Kingdom Hearts is coming out the last day of July. So July is just such a barren wasteland when it comes to video games. But with that, it's given me time to go through and do a lot of my PlayStation Vita reviews that I've been wanting to do for a while. You know, Marvel vs. Capcom, Virtua Fighter, and a bunch of others. Uncharted, I finally got that review up after a while. Uh, but it also gives me a chance to kind of experiment on different kind of videos. One of the things I get requested for the most is playthroughs. And I don't do them that often. They're, they're actually really time-consuming. But, I, and I don't really have, you know, they're hard things for people to find uh, if you're not looking for them. But I'm starting to get a good number of subscribers and a lot of feedback from you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm always getting comments on my videos, which I absolutely love. So I thought we'd go through and actually play some Metal Gear Solid. We'll go through, you know, this is actually going to be Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty from the, you know, PlayStation Vita Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Now, Metal Gear Solid, especially Sons of Liberty, is a relatively new experience for me, as I mentioned in my review. So this is, you know, a great opportunity to go through, play it again. I actually just finished the game. So going through, playing it again, I'm sure I'm going to catch a lot of different stuff, especially, especially when it comes to the story. There were some pieces that I was going through that I, I didn't quite grasp. You know, the story can be a little layered, I think is a polite way to put it. And, you know, here in this opening scene, you see... Just what a great opening scene it is. The guy just walking in the rain, the badass with the cigarette, you know, just walking in the rain, you know, thunderstorm coming on, you know, just, you know, something's about to happen. You know, there's, there's just this palpable excitement as you just get that slow, methodical creep uh, as he's walking, he's smoking a cigarette, completely relaxed, and all of a sudden he just sprints off, has the camo um, gear going, you know, completely invisible with the rope coming, about to get on the tanker. You know, it's just, it's one of those really great opening scenes that catches you immediately, catches you, you know, right off guard. You know, you just, you just, you feel that thing is coming, but you're not exactly sure what's going to come of it. Now, back to my original point about the story. Uh, I'll jump, you know, time from time, just on little tangents. Uh, however, you know, I feel fit on little slow parts. I might just run off on a little tangent. So please excuse me. Uh, the story, you know, is rather layered. I'm sure there's a bunch of nuances that I miss, especially having not played the original Metal Gear Solid. So I'm sure there's, you know, something that I may have missed, something, you know, if I have any questions or anything while we're doing this playthrough, I will definitely ask you guys. And, you know, maybe you guys can answer those for me. Maybe like, oh, wow, that's what they're talking about. Or, you know, that's, you know, that's where it's going. But if you're here looking for, you know, uh, a detailed, you know, synopsis of the story, you know, that's probably not where we're going to get here. We're going to discover this thing together. Now, normally if I was doing a Let's Play, I would just skip the cinematics. So I get right to the gameplay. But this is Metal Gear. You can't, the cinematics are Metal Gear. You can't just skip through them and expect people to be able to follow along with you as you just kind of sneak from place to place, you know, trank a guard, trank a guard, blow up a camera, and move, etc. You know, this isn't this isn't a guide necessarily. This is more of a, you know, let's uh, let's experience Metal Gear. If you haven't experienced before, you just want to relive it. And, and all this beautiful cinematography that looks amazing on the Vita, by the way. If you haven't picked this game up, um, you might want to go ahead and look at it. You see the beautiful, you know, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty pop up. And just, you know, that awesome framing of the game. And here we're, we're actually going to get started into some actual dialogue. You know, see, you know, we're Solid Snake and, you know, communicate and what our mission is. We're going to get, you know, lay the groundwork here. And essentially our goal, for those unfamiliar, we'll, we'll go ahead and read through this, is our goal, there's a Metal Gear on this boat. A Metal Gear, for those of you who have not played the game at all, is, you know, a giant metal you know nuclear weapon like kind of like a mech warrior type nuclear weapon and our job is to take pictures of it and to go out and expose it you know what the army is doing on the interweb so to speak so you know our job is to just get pictures of it this is simply just a stealth mission and uh, we have that you know that tactical camo cloak that we were doing that we used to get on the ship when we jumped over the bridge and with that, you know, that broke. So that's that's essentially what they're saying. And now they're going through and they're giving us our mission. Our mission, you know, is just to get pictures. It's not to hurt anybody. It's not to go out and kill. It's not to, you know, assassinate somebody. Our essential mission is to get the pictures of this Metal Gear. 
So this guy right here that we're talking to, he's giving us our mission details. He's our support. You know, he's going to tell us about everything that we're doing. And, and one of the, the quirks of Metal Gear that actually took me quite a bit to get used to was just the conversations they have while they're out in the field. You know, they, they just, they'll just start rambling about, you know, nonsense and, you know, little personal issues and personal quirks over you know their little intercom while you're on this dangerous secret spy mission it, it was it's really you know silly when you think about it you know it would be all professional you know this 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 and this and then you know they'll just go out and you know he starts reading chinese proverbs to you every time you save that that are you know completely meaningless or you know maybe they have some meaning later in the game uh, i found that actually to be quite humorous and instead of really taking you out of it it actually kind of draws it into you like that that you know, people like this who are doing these kind of missions have to cope. And one of the ways that you would cope is is having these conversations and having these these communications that you have. So here we just got done speaking up. We're setting up the mission and you know, this is we're going after these Marines, but this is simply, you know, an unarmed marine ship where where we should be able to just no problem go out and have no real danger, get the pictures of Metal Gear, expose them. Real simple mission absolutely no problem and of course here all shit is about to go uh haywire everything is going to go to plan b so before we're actually going to get into the jux of the mission and and view a couple more cinematics uh before we finish up this video you're actually going to go through and they're going to explain our weapons to us and actually going to show some of the uh the vita features of the game so if you you're looking at this from the vita you can kind of see how you can touch uh, the touch screen to drag and move the camera around. It actually works really, really well in the Vita. And they're going to explain to you, you know, your gun is a tranquilizer gun. You don't actually have a, a actual weapon. So we can't just go guns blazing even if we wanted to. And not only that, it's a single shot tranquilizer gun that requires a reload. So you got to be make sure that you're very, very careful uh, how you're planning your attack. We wouldn't want to make things too easy where you had a rapid fire tranquilizer. You know, that, that just would not do we don't want we don't want my things too easy for snake and now we're going to go through the technical aspects you know we're going to make a joke about the cigarettes you know which we were smoking out earlier on the bridge and we're going to show the camera and how the camera works so now we're kind of getting our bearings we're on the ship uh he's looking around with the camera he's confirming these guys aren't armed they can't really be armed because they're on the deck of this boat that's in the middle of the Hudson River, you know, that it would be really, really suspicious. You know, Otacon indicates, you know, hey, don't get caught. This is stealth mode. Use your tranquilizer if you need to. But other than that, we need to get in, we need to get out and take pictures of the Metal Gear. That's it. And, you know, that that's all we really need to do. They kind of go through how we're getting the details. You know, he hacked into the Pentagon and we're going to get a little bit into the side story of the details that's going to come up a little bit later on so here we're reiterating hey we can't have uniformed marines on this ship this is just a regular cargo ship going up and down the hudson river nothing out of the ordinary nothing to see here you know just kind of hey this is this is a hidden metal gear that's going to be on this ship. So they're worried that it might be a trap though at least solid snakes hey this might be a trap we got to really watch out for that and it's actually going to be a much dangerous situation as it's coming up uh, while they're doing this debriefing, if anyone wants to explain to me how Solid Snake got with this kind of group, uh, Otacon, and you know, go through maybe that happened in Metal Gear Solid One, which I have not played, and they'd like to go through and explain that in a little, you know, comment section, that would be great. I would actually like to know why we're on this ship, why we're after this Metal Gear. And uh, you see here that we have people coming to the ship and taking over and uh, killing, so this is not going to be our standard little quest that we thought it was in out take pictures and move along it's actually going to be something a little bit more intense than that which is always exciting to kick it off this is really one of the best first missions uh from the ps2 era that you can really think about i mean it's it's just a great opening mission that really really you know connects you i know a lot of people you know, this is the favorite part because, you you know, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but you don't necessarily, you know, switch, you switch protagonists into the game. And that, you know, a lot of people uh, just heard, actually watched and read an article, excuse me, uh, at GameSpot about, you know, playing, someone was replaying this in the HD collection and this was always their least favorite Metal Gear game. They were playing through all of them for the 25th anniversary or for the anniversary of it. 
and you know this was their least favorite game because of the protagonist and he played through it again it's a really good read he played through it again and you know loved it absolutely really really appreciated it that he couldn't appreciate it you know 10 years ago when he played it it was it was a really good read and i actually really enjoyed this game and here you know we're getting the picture of the you know the lead guy that has just taken over this ship and we're really starting to you know we're going to get a picture of him we're going to figure out who it is and we're going to keep on you know going so that was a really good read. If you're somebody who didn't like this game, this is your least favorite game. You might want to try to find that article. It was like fighting my demons of Metal Gear at GameSpot. I really enjoyed going through it. This is, you know, my second Metal Gear game. I actually started with four, which I loved, and, you know, going into this one. So, uh, well, that's it uh, really for the video, guys. I, there's actually no gameplay on this video. We're going to go through and we're going to, you know, finish up our uh, talking with our Otacon guy. And, you know, there's actually no actual gameplay footage i'll put in another install should be up um in the next day or two where we'll continue we'll actually play the game and we'll go through our mission here our actual first mission is to go to the bridge and find out where this tanker is going so we'll actually get to go through and play this game you know instead of just the cinematics but yeah i just couldn't leave out the cinematics there's just there's just no way this opening is is one of the great openings that you're going to play yes it can be a little slow yes if you played through it a ton it can be a little you know laggy uh, on some spots where you, you know keep getting interrupted interrupted over and over again on you know how to do certain things but other than that you know just the the cinematography of the opening scene is just great and it's something that should really be experienced so i wanted to go through you know let's if we're gonna do a let's play let's go ahead and play through it and let's experience it together so as always guys leave me comments let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see if you guys are into this you guys want to see other games you know I, I do this channel for you guys and just let me know and that's it guys as always uh take care and have a good night bye